You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace. Welcome to Adorama TV. Well, I get a lot of email from photographers that are saying, hey, I'm a brand new photographer, a beginning photographer, and I'm looking for a camera that won't break the bank that will be perfect for me. Well, I think, hands down, the best camera out there for you is the Nikon D3100. And let me tell you why this camera is set apart from all other cameras for beginning photographers. First of all, it shoots not only stills, but videos, and it shoots video in high definition. So if you're looking for a camera to take out and shoot uh, vacation photos and video uh, or shots of your family, this camera will do both things and do it beautifully. But the thing that really sets this camera apart is its ability to guide you through how to take pictures. In fact, this actually has a built-in guide to teach you how to take pictures. And so let's take a closer look at how the guide works. When I enter into the guide, you can see that there are three main menu items here. So we have shoot, view and delete and setup. And so when I want to shoot something, I just go over here to shoot. I say, okay. And this gives me some options here. So I can say, hey, I just want to use the easy operation because I'm just starting out and I'll select that. And then I can say, okay, what kind of uh, photo do I want to take? I want to take something that's fully auto. I want to make sure the flash doesn't fire. Maybe you're looking at something that's uh, in the distance or something close up. Sleeping faces, if you have some kids you want to take a picture of, or maybe a landscape. So let's take a look at landscapes. So once I go in there, um, it'll stay, okay, here is, uh, we're in landscape mode and I can just start shooting. And so if I want to start shooting, I say, okay. And it says, do you want to use the viewfinder? Meaning I can look through this eyepiece here, or I can actually use live view and that will show uh, the screen right there. And so I'm not looking through this little eyepiece, or I can say, you know what? I want to shoot some landscape movies. And once I choose what I want to do, I just hit OK and the camera is ready to go. So let me go back. I can go back by hitting menu here and we'll do a different one where there are a little bit more options. So I can say I want to shoot, but I want to use uh, an easy operation and I want to do, let's say, uh, portraits. I will say OK. Now I want to start shooting, but I want to do some more settings because maybe there's something I, I want to make sure I change. So I can go in there and say, I want to do some more settings. And then this is going to ask, uh, you know, if I want to change the flash mode or the uh, release mode, maybe the ISO sensitivity. And so I get some more options there. And once I have those set up, then I can say, I want to start shooting and the camera is ready to go. So I can do basic stuff or I could do basic stuff with a little more options, or I can even go back here. I can say, I want to shoot. I want to do some advanced operations. And so it'll go in here and it'll say, okay, what do you want to do? You want to have a softened background. You want to freeze motion. You want to show uh, maybe water flowing. So you've got all these different things that you can do. I'm going to say I want to soften the backgrounds. So I'll go into that and it's going to tell me aperture priority auto mode and it'll tell me what dial settings I need to choose and how to do this. And so this is going to take me to the next step and really show me how to use the camera, which is really nice. And because we have this little question mark down in the lower left, we know that we can push this question mark and hold it. And it's going to give me a little bit more information about aperture priority mode and what that does. So again, this is sort of like a how to photography book built into the camera. So let me go back here again to the menu. You can see now that we have the view and delete guide. We haven't taken any pictures with this camera on this card, but if I did, we could look at single photos or view multiple photos. We can choose a date and say, I want to sh uh, see all the stuff I shot three weeks ago or a month ago if those are on your card. You can look at a slideshow or you can delete photos. So it's a really easy way to navigate through your uh, photos that are on your memory card. And then if you want to set up your camera for something specific, there's the setup menu. So I can say OK. And then you can start changing things like the size of the image, the image quality, um, which folder that you're using to play things back, how to do some print set stuff, so to print stuff on printers, formatting the memory card, all the things that you need to do to set up your camera, um, video mode. So if you really want to get in and be a, a filmmaker, you can get in there and do that. You can change your time zone. So all the different functionality that you need to set up your camera can be found in this guide. Well, that guide is great. It will really help you get some phenomenal photos. When you buy this camera, you can buy it in a kit. The kit is about $600. It includes the camera body and the lens. And the kit lens is an 18 to uh, 55 millimeter lens. And that means it's going to be great for shooting scenic photos as well as 
pictures of people. So it's a really um, flexible lens. It'll help you get some great video as well. If you want to grow as a photographer, this uh, camera is really going to help you out because in addition to being able to shoot with the guide, you have all of the features of a normal SLR camera because it is a normal SLR camera. So you have aperture priority mode and shutter priority mode and full manual mode. And so you'll be able to grow with this camera. If you want to change lenses, this has fully interchangeable lenses. So you can put on wide angle lenses and telephoto lenses and macro lenses and all the lenses that you can normally get for uh, Nikon cameras. Well, you can throw those on here. The other thing, this is really going to be expandable. So if you want to uh, throw on an external television or monitor, you have an HDMI port so you can watch those videos or see your photos on a big screen TV. It also allows you to plug in a GPS. So if you're a scenic photographer and you really want to track where you're taking photos, well, this camera will allow you to do that as well. One of the really cool things that I like about this camera is as you're transitioning from the guide that tells you how to do everything step by step to some of these more advanced modes, well, it will still give you some suggestions as you're going through that. So on the lower left-hand corner of this camera, there's this little question mark that'll pop up if it sees that maybe there's something that you could do a little differently. And if that happens, you can push this little question mark button and hold it down and it will tell you, hey, there's not enough light, you need to add a flash, or maybe uh, your shutter speed is too slow, let's speed it up, or you need to change this or that. And so as you're transitioning from a fully guided camera, when you're just learning, to a less guided camera, when you're becoming a more proficient photographer, well, this camera will still help you bridge the gap from beginning to intermediate photographer. And then finally, you'll be an advanced photographer before you know it. In fact, the cool thing is using the guide in this camera and watching our digital photography one on one videos. If you do those two things together, you really have the kit that will enable you to go from a person that doesn't know anything about photography to being a very, very proficient photographer in no time. Well, there you have it. For about $600, you get the camera and the lens in a great camera kit. It's the Nikon D3100. And I think it's hands down the best camera for beginning photographers. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, if you have questions about photography or photography related gear, you can send them to me at askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.